It's day zero of gameplay OC. I have done a few events before, but I still haven't learned my lesson of how I should prep in advance, so I'm back again with another last minute event prep. Although I do get some of my stuff manufactured, I still do make a lot of it at home, such as the mug that I'm making right now. I'm shaking because I'm so tired and I'm honestly so sad. Um, I broke one of my mugs right now, as well as Binder Club. I feel like those are some of my popular items. So I'm like, uh, I'm just kind of sad but tired. So maybe that's why I'm so sad. It's not really anything. Anaheim Convention Center to build my setup. My table space is a lot bigger than I had anticipated so pretty much everything I planned for my setup beforehand is out the window. Hence why you can see me being so stressed here. Thankfully, I have my vendor friend's cousin and my friend who's going to be my helper on day one calm my nerves because I was mentally going through it. Ashes. We toured for eight months with this to kind of feed my company, turn the keep the lights on. Everything will crumble down. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, the oh, 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 we will watch it crumble down. Yeah.
debrief on it and just reflect on how this event had went especially since i went to both the la one earlier this year and now this oc one for that la location earlier this year the event had costed us 350 and this oc one had costed us 420 for both of this tables itself it was exactly the same size except the big difference i would say is that for the la location it was an inline booth so it was pretty much where your table is at is just where it's at you can't really make adjustments to it for this oc one it was slightly different because there were railings riding each section so if you wanted to bring an extra table you are able to or if you wanted to just rearrange it in a certain way you are able to do that have your products displayed in whatever manner that you wanted to. Something that I did was that I brought an extra table so then I was able to just display more products and I think that was a very beneficial thing that I had done. I was actually talking to one of my vendor friends and she gave me that idea so thank you to her for that. But I would say that there was one downfall of this OC location if I were to consider it a downfall and that would be that for this one we actually had to share a room with the anime impulse. I would say that this is a downfall because in my opinion, it seems that Cave Play got a lot smaller compared to the LA location. That one, we had an entire room dedicated to ourselves. For this time, it seemed as if it was a lot smaller and a lot of the people who came by were actually from Anime Impulse, so it was a lot harder to just have people who were specifically interested in these type of products view our products. So talking about the event itself, on day one, it was actually extremely slow for me where it was to the point that I was questioning is this event actually worth me attending? It was pretty difficult to break even and then I was just questioning throughout the day am I able to cover the cost of this food? But then I realized that it's more of me wanting to promote my brand so even if I don't break even, then it's fine. But luckily, I was still able to on day one. Talking to my other friends, it seemed as if they also thought that this was more of an anime impulse type of event because it was really slow on our side that it was just pretty difficult for us. On day two, I was talking to one of my vendor friends also from the K-Play side and she had mentioned that on day one, it might have been extremely slow because there were two K-pop concerts on that day. So most people would probably want to go to concerts instead of coming to K-Play. But because of that, it actually played an impact on how day two had looked for us. On day two, there was a big train of events. It was so busy to the point where even within the first few minutes of the event opening, I was able to get a sale. So that was pretty good in my opinion and kind of shows of how busy the event is. I would say that on day two, there was a lot of K-pop fans as well as families gathering. So I think that it was just very busy overall. On both of the days, my stickers ended up selling really well. Another product that sold really well was my cups and mugs. These I wasn't 
too surprised about i would say just because for the la location these were also one of my best sellers so i had anticipated this to also sell well over here another product i find that sold really well was my t-shirts and tote bags these i was pleasantly surprised about because i have been selling them since my very first event so seeing that they are still receiving a lot of love i am just so happy about that but thinking of this event if i were to compare la and oc i would say that the LA location was a lot better for me and I would more likely want to attend that one again. The OC location was okay but I would say that the LA one was significantly better for me but I don't regret coming here and I did have a lot of fun just being able to interact with my customers and just build more brand awareness while also meeting my vendor friends as always a good time. Talking about my vendor friends, so I actually became friends with Cami from Camboba and she gifted me these. So I would like us to just open it together so I actually saw this one in advance so I'm gonna show you I gave her my McDougal's keychain so she gave me this sticker it's so cute and then she also gave me two keychains or one keychain and phone charm so cute <laughs> so thank you Cami if you're watching this I love them so much for other merchandise I ended up getting this one has ah, so cute. I don't remember the name of the booth, but it's such a cute keychain. It comes with this star. So cute. <laughs> but that is, I guess, all I have to say for this event right now. Um, yeah, I guess the dogs are telling me to stop talking. So, bye.